Good morning from Poland. So this video is going to be a little bit different than most of our videos. I am by myself, so that's one thing that'll be different. And it won't be the fun, fast-paced type of video that you're used to because I am going to Auschwitz Museum and Auschwitz Birkenau. The way we're going to do it is I'm going today by myself, Jess is with the kids, tomorrow I'll be with the kids, and Jess will go by herself. Very chilly and wet, just like a light mist of rain. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse because there is a lot of walking outdoors. Okay, so I'm about five minutes away and I'm already getting this like eerie feeling. I'm just walking along train tracks and you can't help but look at the train tracks knowing that loads and loads of people came on these tracks thinking they were going to one place and ended up in the worst place. It's gonna be a hard day.
So our tour continues on this side. We're now in the oldest part of the camp. This was originally just women's camp, but later was filled with everybody. All these chimneys that you can see behind me, these are all original chimneys, but all these structures were made out of wood. There's over 250 wooden barracks here, and they all have crumbled. What's left is the small foundation that they were all built on and the original brick fireplaces that were inside. The sheer scale of this place is unbelievable. There's 45 of these structures, brick structures, and they're all here. All original 45 are still here. And you can see behind me these kind of newer white buildings. That's actually a form that they put over top of these buildings as they're preserving them to make sure that they don't fall. So they're working hard to keep these buildings preserved to their original state. The last place was very much like a, a museum. It felt like a museum, you were kind of rushed. Here is much different. This is quiet, eerie, and raw. There's nobody around you. You can easily take your time here and really get a scope of how massive a scale. We just left the uh, gas chambers that were built here in the crematoriums. They were all blown up by the Germans before they left, um, but we saw a scale of it in the other camp and you could just see how big it was. The gas chamber we were in, they would kill about 800 people at a time. And in these gas chambers, and they had four of them, would kill 2,000 people at a time, every 30 minutes. It's just so unbelievable.